Jackson Radio Show. Disturbing and troubling because you're right. He was at the heart of the investigation into Hillary Clinton. We know that she lied numerous times. We know that she leech bitted and deleted 33,000 emails. We know that a lot of America, a majority of Americans in all polling, said that she was neither honest or trustworthy. It's part of why she lost. And yet you do hear people constantly asking, when will she be held to account? I know she's got a pretty bad fate of not uh, working and living by me here. But this is what frustrates people. And now this revelation that a decidedly, definitively anti-Trump FBI investigator was involved in the Hillary Clinton interviews, as the president says, is now starting to make a lot of sense. And uh, and of course, this is in the shadow of this is in the context of never ending investigations uh, here of <clears throat> of the Trump transition of the Trump campaign of possible collusion, which, of course, the president said as recently as Saturday simply does not exist. Uh, so it's very frustrating mm-hmm. to many, many law abiding Americans who look up and always see a double standard, always see special exceptions for Hillary Clinton. Look, the Clinton Foundation doesn't even exist anymore, which also means they're not taking gazillions of dollars from <laughs> countries that don't respect women and girls. A uh, wink, wink. But it's very disturbing to folks. And who knows if there's more? I'm glad they took action and got rid of this guy. But a lot of damage had already been done because Hillary was under investigation by the FBI. We're also seeing now uh, more information being released about that famous tarmac meeting that wasn't just about golf and grandchildren, we would imagine, between then Attorney General Lynch and President Bill Clinton, the only President mm-hmm. Clinton will ever have. Right. Uh, it's very people want to know. So you talk about golf and grandkids for maybe the first three minutes. What was the what was the rest of the conversation that lasted nearly an hour? So there are many questions and anybody who's watching right now, those people who watch TV for a living, which is curious and type about what we're talking about and say they just can't get rid of Hillary Clinton. They can't stop talking about Hillary Clinton. No, we can't stop talking about Hillary Clinton because she just never goes away. <laughs> Kelly She's Ann. legitimized yeah. by the mainstream media. Now we find out the FBI uh, had pro Hillary anti Trump people at the heart of the Hillary investigation. Very troubling. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Race Pimping is my book, racepimping.com, talking about, I forget this guy's, what's his name, Peter Strokes or something like that, Stroke, and he is the guy that special counsel Robert Mueller fired after the New York Times praised his work. He's been at every phase of this investigation that allowed for the cover-up of Hillary Clinton, and James Comey knew it. Look, here's the thing. Is there any accountability here? Who was over it? Comey, we know this happened. Why is he not in jail? Why has something not been done? How does he get to write a $2 million or whatever million dollar book deal, get a book deal, while his Justice Department is in effect creating injustice, not telling the American people the truth? I'm just curious. And Robert Mueller, Mr. Stand-Up Guy, all these guys patting each other on the back. It's like Holly Weirdos giving each other awards so they can get more and more money, more and more prestige. So we dote on everything that they say. What did um, Matt Damon say? You know, what did Clooney say? He's so amazing. He can pretend to be other people. Why shouldn't we listen to him? He's so amazing. Oh, George Clooney, Clooney was in my in my uh, town the other day, and I bumped into him at the grocery store. I mean, you know, I don't really know him, and he didn't you know, say anything to me, but he was there. Why do we give them so much credit? They're nobodies. They're people who can play other people. And just for the record, real life is much better. I've argued this. You want to show me somebody who can cry when, when there's somebody died on the screen or whatever. And show me a mother who gets told by the police that her son just got shot in a drive by shooting as he was coming home from the grocery store. I'll show you who can really act. Because real life more than makes up for it. We get we get people so much credit because they can mimic real life. You know, or make you have an an emotional feeling about going through a tunnel or, you know, being on a crazy island somewhere where monsters appear. God, they just make me go from reality. Let me tell you who suspends your reality every single day. These stupid leftists. They suspend your reality. Or better yet, somebody can make a melodious sound out of their voice and sell millions of CDs or DVDs or downloads or whatever it is. And Ariana Grande, she's got, she's a little songbird. She's as messed up in the head as you can get. Nut-eared and squirrel turds. But you know what? Let's listen to her. Let's listen to Streisand. 
Why not? She's certainly not detached from reality. This is crazy. You know, I got to tell you, got to tell you a proud moment. My youngest son, he uh, was asked at school, who are his uh, idols? And he said his parents. And it wasn't like a contrived thing. He was, you know, who'd you say? My parents, of course. It's what he said. Little booger made me cry. <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't really crying. I was just acting. <laughs> but he did make me proud. <laughs> you guys are looking at me going, yeah, Kevin, we know you were acting. <laughs> I can cry. I can cry on cue. You want to know how I can cry on cue? No lie. You know what makes me cry on cue? When I think about my grandmother on the day that we were burying my great grandfather, if I want to have tears well up in my eyes instantaneously, I think of that moment. My tears are welling up right now. That was one of the saddest moments in my life. Watching my grandmother who had watched her daughter die, I'd seen that same look in her eye when my mother died and my great grandfather died. Her, the patriarch, the man that she had, she admired the most in the world. It was so, I mean, my great grandfather, he, he's the man I admire the most in the world. Proud to say that. I mean, a man. And, you know, he was respectful of women, but he was all man. And when I see when he was buried in that church, here's this old sharecropper lived in the, the good house. My brother used to say had the, all the holes in the floor, <laughs> the bad house. They, they had a had a dirt floor, had a dirt floor. And my great grandfather, they said, was strong as an ox. He, y'all you think I'm lying and, and this isn't a great story, but. Every, there's probably got to be at least five people in the family that said a mule would not follow my great grandfather and he knocked the mule out. I'm not lying. And that's not one of those, you know, the story gets bigger with age. Four of my uncles told me my great grandfather was tired of dealing with the mule. He wouldn't plow or whatever. He needed to get going. He knocked the mule out. Nobody messed with my great grandfather. I saw him later on in life and he was, you know, he wasn't able to move as much. And when he he died in his nineties and we took him to a picnic once and he says to me, I won't won't say my nickname, but he says to me, Hey, can you take me around by this tree? And I said, sure. He could, cause he was blind. I said, sure, Papa. So I walk him around the tree. He says, now point me in the right direction. I don't want the women looking at my stuff. But yeah, I could I can cry on command with that man because you know what I loved him so deeply. He he formed things inside of my life that I can never get. Nobody else can put inside of me the knowledge that he put because I was willing to listen. Level of respect. Anyway, um Kellyanne is saying when is Clinton going to be held accountable? We got a guy who you know, has, has worked on all aspects of this campaign with Hillary Clinton. And we, the more things that come out about him, the worse it gets. Here's some latest information about this guy. Judicial Watch obtained, obtained this. He praised the acting attorney general, Sally Yates, after she was fired in January by President Trump for refusing to defend his travel ban that was identical to Barack Obama's. And he sent her a, a note praising her. Here's what he said. I am so proud and in awe. Thank you so much. All my deepest respects. This is a guy working on an investigation against Trump, lining up witnesses as he's supposed to be looking into the Hillary Clinton thing who exonerated Clinton's attorney and Uma Thurman, as well as rewrote the terminology to, that we were later gifted with by a uh, Comey and Yeah, we're supposed to all be feeling good about this guy, good about the investigation. Let me tell you what this would be if it were a court of law. They would throw this case out. That's what they do. And then there'd be hell to pay because all along the food chain, they have mishandled this. When Comey came back, you guys, I think, I don't know if I think it was a, a house questioning. They said, did you take notes when Clinton was testifying? No, did you record it? No. Who does that? 
This is the Department of Justice. Can you imagine going into being called into the FBI and they record none of what you say and take no notes? I would love to see in the history of the Bureau where that's occurred. Nowhere. They take us for fools. And as as, uh, Kellyanne Conway said, never ending investigations in the Trump while this guy's doing all his dirty work. And guess what? The damage is done. It's done. What do you, how are you going to undo it? How do you know what chain of evidence is real? What's fake? What's whatever? What's been fabricated? We got nothing. We got a guy who's tainted all this information. If we don't even have video where we can see him going wink, wink, nod, nod, right? They're crooks, all of them, to their core. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.